Bronx native and former record label executive Lenny Alizé Jones and his brother Robert Forbes are now the proud owners of a New York City staple. The co-owners celebrated the grand opening of their new high-quality convenience store, Black Bodega. We just tried to try to have or create something for the community that we were inspired by and grew up off of ourselves. Co-owner and longtime friend Rashid Nash explains how Black Bodega began and says the full-service deli and convenience store aims to give back to the community in the South Bronx devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. We've spoken about it before in the past and it was kind of like funny, Black Bodega, haha, -ha, but the pandemic wasn't funny. So it really set people back. People had a hard time last year, so we wanted to do something in a serious way to, to try to alleviate some of that. Black Bodega aims to deliver more than just high quality service. The owners say the bodega will also create more job opportunities for local residents. What we do is we offer, uh, we open 24 hours and we're offering three shifts of eight hours to, to cooks and to people who can, uh, to cooks, uh, uh, cook, stock and people who can uh, run a counter cashiers. The co-owners also celebrate becoming the first black bodega in the Bronx, setting a milestone for the borough. It feels great. I can't, I, that's one thing I can say for us to be a part of something like that. Receiving support and positive feedback from their community, mother of Jones and Forbes, Maria Forbes, explains remaining local is important to the family and their business. We hire from within the community and that's important. You can't keep going downtown all the time. You gotta stay in your community and put your dollars where it counts in your community. Located on East 167th Street, the bodega offers grocery store staples, including the Bronx's favorite sandwich, the chopped cheese. As for what's next, Jones tells Bronx sites to look out for a brand new juice bar coming to the borough spring 2021. Reporting for BronxNet, Kevin Aline.